morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Tuesday morning. I'm Elric, your host. Now, today we're going to do an unboxing, first look, and overview of a brand new case from the people over at Silverstone. This is their Sugo Series SG09. I was thinking, you know, it's not SG1, it's not the Stargate team, not my original favorites, but hey, it is an SG09 case. Now, this thing's very, very small. It's supposed to have a weird front mounted power supply. You guys ever heard of that before? A power supply that mounts in the fracking front? Well, this thing's supposed to have it. So anyways, we'll gander over here real quick and we'll look at the box just so you guys can see it. The Silverstone designing inspiration at the little snowflake logo. USB 3.0 ready. Here we see it, the Sugo Series SG09, redefining performance in small form factor computing. Now, has a lot of things that supports graphic cards of any length. Of any length, that's what it says. So you should be able to put a 690 in there, 7990, anything should go in there. It says it supports full tower CPU coolers, which means it'll support a big old CPU cooler. Even inside this little box, I'm wanting to see that. Supports Strider Plus PSUs up to 1,000 watts. Mandatory cable routing designed. Ample fan slots for maximum airflow. Motherboard back panel opens behind CPU area for a quick cooling assembly, which means basically you can access it. And if you have a back plate, you can take it off. Here on the side of the box, real quick, we're just going to go over to the camera come up here. I won't even talk about it because you guys don't want to hear me talk about all of it. But here are all the specs. I'll just let you guys take a quick look at those. But for you guys out there, you guys can just see all the stuff all the way down. The material, the model, motherboards, drive bays, cooling system, expansion slots, front IO port, power supply, expansion car, extra, and then the dimensions, 220 millimeters by 295 millimeters by 345 millimeters. It says it weighs 23.0 liters. Now, these guys aren't even being kind. I don't see it translated into any uh, inches for us. Dang nabbit, all right. Kind of a long one on the box, folks, because these guys are actually a lot. Just shows you a lot of stuff here. I'm just gonna go quick on that. So blah, 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 blah. You see all that? Ka ching All right, let's go inside this damn thing. All right, so up here on top, got a little strap. It's got a strap on right off the bat. When I hear that's a really good strap here, you hear the sound? All right, there we got it. Take that. Now, I know the cameraman handed me a knife earlier. Oh, it's back here. The old trusty knife. Need one of these for an unboxing of this type. Now we'll jump back over here. I'm going to make an incision right here. Another one here on the top. I'm going to pull the case back out a little bit here. One more right there. And there we should have it. All right. So there we go. I want to try to do this kind of funny. So let's try to like a, make it like a monster coming out of a box. I'm coming to get you. I will eat you. <laughs> Voila. Unboxing. There we go, it's out of the box. Take this thing, throw it over here, and get it out of the way. All right. You know, I gotta salt the cameraman sometime, just would not be the same kind of day if I didn't salt the cameraman. All right, so now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, and ba-boom, we have it. So let's look at the outside first. You can see up here on top, it's only gonna take one of those little mini slotted CD players it's looking like. Maybe when we get inside, it takes more, but right now it's looking like it takes a slim line one. Air holes, USB 3.0, headphone, speaker, on button, or on button, reset button. Let's see what else goes on here. So I'm gonna have to start disassembling this thing here soon, folks. I gotta figure out how that goes. It obviously doesn't go that way. So let's flip it around, take a look at this side. Also, folks, do the smell test. Even being away from it, this thing has that new product smell. Smells pretty good. All right. I want the camera to get up here really closely because this is gonna be a hard shot to actually get. This is the weirdest shit that I've seen yet. Now check this out. The power cable goes right here. In fact, I'm just gonna pick this up and bring it over to you folks. Look at where the power cable goes. That is a very, very interesting design. Like I said, the power supply is supposed to mount in the front. So look, check that out. We might as well get it up here. Let's look at the back. You guys can see there's a fan. Got four bays down here, so it looks like you can probably have two video cards or a video card and one sound card. Your I.O. is going to sit right here, your I.O. of your motherboard. Which is going to be weird because there's a power cord sitting over here to the right. All right, 
So let's sit this thing down. There's no window. There's just some other bays here. So I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out how to disassemble this system. So let's start from the back. I will just start taking off all these screws, which by the way, I haven't had to do any uh, weird things with. Didn't have to use my knife, didn't have to do anything else. These are coming out very, very easily. I'm glad of that. Some people say, oh, at the factory, they tighten them super duper tight, you know, for shipping reasons. But I mean, you should still be able to get them off with your fingers. You shouldn't have to actually run out and grab a tool just to remove a dang screw. But another factor is if you're actually working with the case, you probably do have a screwdriver on you anyways. So <laughs> you're building a system, right? Okay, so moot point either way. All right, folks. Now, there was a screw that was right here on the side, which I had to remove. Then we'll waste your time doing that so that we could pull the entire unit off. So now the entire unit comes off. You can see it's one solid shell. All the way around, nice, easy, solid shell. Go ahead and set that down. Let's go ahead and take this thing and let's look at the top. A giant fan here on top. Hopefully it'll be nice and silent. Flip it around. Here's where all your cable management's going to be. Here's where the power supply goes. Now, this is really weird. The power supply goes in the front of the case. Now, I actually feel kind of like a slight retard. I probably should have went out and got a power supply since it was so original to do this, but we'll actually do a build in it and we'll show you the full build. Power supply mounts in here though, to the side. Very, very weird having a power supply mount in the front. Now, the motherboard is going to be mounted. It's going to go back there against the back wall. Like I said before, the viewer I.O. is here. The power cable for the power supply is inside of here. So when the power supply mounts in here, you'll have the cable right there to go to it. All of your accessories and everything are all inside of this bag. You've got rubber feet, rubber grommets. And looking at the design, you would only able to use, like I said, a laptop type CD, meaning the Slimline CD or DVD is all you're going to be able to use here on the top because of the slot right here. So I've went ahead and I removed the screw down here in the bottom, which allows this to be completely pulled off. We can see there's a single fan inside of here, along with the cable. Now we'll go ahead and bring this up now so you guys can see the internals of the system. Like I said before, the motherboard will be mounting inside of there across the back. And this back panel back here, let me spin around for you folks as well. This panel is also removable, which means that if you do remove this panel, this area right here is absolutely big enough to get to your CPU and remove the back plate for using bigger type coolers. So all in all, it is a very, very unique design. It's totally different than anything else I've seen. And that's about it. We're going to probably build the system in this, folks, and then we'll bring that to you. So, all right, folks, I hate to use this face, but honestly, this is like brand new to me. I'm kind of tripping out in design. It is a very unique design, though. You got to admit it. The SG-09 is very trippy. Have you ever seen any other case that has the power supply mounted in the front with its own power supply connection in the back of the case. I have yet to see that, so I give them definitely a thumbs up on originality for that. I hope you guys liked the video. Like it if you did. Also, make sure you subscribe because we got lots of stuff going on, and we'll see you back here on the channel tomorrow. Peace out.